Hello everyone, this is Joe from PC Repair and also from the Cell Phone Geek. Today we're going to talk about the new Kobe and Backup number 10. So first off, we're going to go to Google and then type in Kobe and Backup. And then you can either go right to their website here. <coughs> and we got Kobe and Backup 11 called Gravity. You hit, it's right here, it says you can download it here, click that, and it'll pop up and you start downloading, which I've already downloaded. So once it's downloaded, we're going to run it. <coughs> hit run. It's got a couple new features, this one, compared to the last one. I'll show you once we get the program running here. Very easy installation. Next, I accept the terms. Of course, read the terms. Okay, know where it's going to go. Perfect. So you want the first one, create a start menu icon. That way you can find it under your start all programs. And then also install the volume shadow copy register. You're going to want to do that as well so you can do a full backup. When you do the full backup, then it's going to use a shadow copy. And you're going to want to use that. So make sure that's checked. Then hit next. It's just going to install the software for that. And then I always recommend auto start for all users which is the third option down from the top that way it doesn't matter who logs in it uh, will allow you to back up for all users and then hit install it will go through and do its installation setup I've used a few other backup programs and this one is the best I've used a few other ones and didn't really care for them or they had problems and or I couldn't find a file that it couldn't back up and then it had issues and then the whole thing would stop backing up and then you had to go and fix that problem before it finished and if you're like me you have it set to back up when you're asleep at like one or two in the morning so you don't have to you shouldn't have to wake up to fix the problems this program will just blow right through those problems and then tell you later that it wasn't able to copy stuff Alright. I don't know, it's air, whatever. Okay. Done. Minimize that. Alright. Let's see here. Alright, there's uh, gonna be. If you go under Start All Programs, you'll see it'll say Kobe and Backup 11. Click on that. And it should open up and also be in your system tray in the bottom. On the bottom right by the clock, it will show it's like a white box with a black ball in the middle. You can just double click on that and it will open it up, which it will look like this. And uh, uh, it's pretty much the same as the old Kobe and backup, other than I'll show you here. If you do, uh, if you go under task and then do new task or you hit control A. It'll pop up the window here and set up your task. Got your name, of course. And there's a new one that says group. You can actually set up groups now, which is nice in a way. It uh, depends on the person. You can set up groups. And uh, I guess see what else. There's something else that I saw that was pretty neat. Oh, if you go on your schedule, and then if you go, it says schedule type, it says daily. Uh, you have your choice of once, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, timer, manual. And on startup, on startup is new. They never had that before. They just added that, which I think is a pretty neat one. Like if you have a laptop, I recommend doing the on startup. So like you go to school, you go to school, do your homework, type up notes, whatever. You come home, you turn your laptop on, and boom, it starts backing up right away. Since you probably don't have a scheduled, uh, it'd be hard to set a scheduled time for your laptop to do a backup because you're probably not going to leave it, your laptop on 24-7 because it's also not good for your laptop. So that's a good feature to on startup. Or you could do that on your desktop too. I was just thinking that's good for laptops. Uh, I'm trying to think what else was there. Oh, on these choices here. Um, I was that under time manual. This is on. I never did what this one is says on. Let's see. For whatever reason, they won't even highlight. I don't know. It'll play around with the on. But then, of course, you get the days of the week. But 
d you can set up a date, time, certain part. Of it. Um, dynamics. You just set. Oh, the priority. You can set the priorities differently. I don't think that was in the last one. So if you wanted to do high priority, so it takes over your computer and does the backup and will let you do pretty much nothing else. Your rest of your computer will slow down because it's gonna max out all your RAM <coughs> and processors, so you can do the backup, which will make it complete faster. But then you can't do anything at the same time. Multitasking will become a minimum. Then you have your archive, so you can make compression and encrypt it. Uh, you have filters, so you can only you so you can have a sub only back up certain types of files or you can exclude certain types of files so it won't back up those types of files you can set events before the backup starts and after the backup so after the backup you can have it shut your computer down or whatever you like there's a lot of choices and then under advanced you can run it as a different user stuff like that you can empty directories and that is pretty much it have a great day. Please comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Peace.